Hey everyone, welcome to this video of the painting of this very amazing structure or building called the Jewel, which is in the airport of Singapore. And right now I'm just using the brush to help me with the painting of these trees that we see. So in this um, place called Jewel, we have this amazing um, waterfall that is coming from the top. And surrounding it is all these trees and we have people you know going around this entire area and just trying to admire the waterfall but now we are focusing on the trees and we have all these darker greens and we have all these browns and of course the yellows and the orange and all these colors actually relate to each other when they when you actually put them together right Right, so we have all these you know yellows and I use dark greens to paint the darker areas of the trees first so that is actually what I did with you know some of the darker areas that I did and I'm using that brush I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of greens that will give us some very nice kinds of uh, variations of green that will you know um, help us to have um, to depict all this greenery but right now, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these lighter greens that are being depicted, you know, at the top. Alright, so now making sure that we have some of the brush strokes in. So there's all these long kind of structures, which I'm not sure what they are, that are kind of like sticking out from um, the trees and they're pointing at different directions. And so right now, just using the brush to kind of like add in the colors for the parts that are left white earlier. So the way to paint trees is to kind of like, for me, is to use the dark green to paint the darker areas first. And then using, leaving white some of the areas that will be filled in later. Like using light yellows, which will give all these, you know, uh, light kind of colors and light kind of yellows. And that will give us a very nice visual result so after that using now i'm actually using the color pencil like some greens and yellows and browns to kind of like depict all these um details on top of the painting itself so just trying to have all these green color pencils and dark brown color pencils and so on and so forth and that will give us some very very nice kinds of colors and tones and you know um, details that attract the viewer more because they kind of like have to look closely to see all these trees and all these details and that will give us all these very amazing kinds of you know colors and details and um, tree branches and leaves that are sticking out and they're more intricate which can only be depicted using that green color pencil or that dark brown color pencil you know that forms the branches and that will give us all these amazing kinds of details and you know all these very nice things all right so using the color pencil to kind of like add more strokes that are coming out to add those like trees and leaves that are you know those browns that are like coming out from the trees itself and right now just trying to make sure that we have all these different colors and different kinds of uh, reds and um, um, dark browns and blacks and greens and so on and so forth that will give us all these very nice details of the trees right so you can see right now the trees are kind of like coming out pretty well and as we move towards the bottom we'll see a little bit more of those very nice kinds of details that are being painted all right so the thing is um if you have the chance to visit Jewel, um, Changi Airport, which is the name of um, the airport of Singapore, we have this Jewel, which is, you know, um, attracts a lot of viewers and tourists each year to come here to actually have all these very nice, to have, to have this, you know, view of, of this amazing waterfall. So I use various, various shades of green to paint all these different plants. And again, using, you know, different greens, lighter greens, darker greens. So lighter greens are being formed are, are, are formed by using that yellowish, combining yellow with 
green and then um, the darker greens are actually formed by using the um, dark blue or dark brown combined with the sap green and so right here you can see I'm actually painting in the darker kind of greens first and um, combining it with the other colors or the other greens so again right here using a flick of the brush I kind of like you know make sure that we have all these strokes so so trees like you know we have palm trees we have all these um, trees that are kind of like having those long leaves that are spreading out so this um, flicking of the brush to depict those leaves are very useful because when it comes to um, depicting leaves we want it to be natural so I use red yellow and browns to add interest into the bush so again trying to make sure that we have all these you know yellows and reds and browns and orange and I'm just trying to dab I'm trying to make sure that we have all these you know highlights that show the warm kind of highlights and the orange kind of highlights that you know is actually forming all these very nice and very cool kind of uh, details that we see within those bushes and within those plants so we have some dark greens and we have some dark blues and we have all these you know different kinds of blues and greens and so on and so forth and all these different kinds of living whites and using the brush to kind of like create this very nice kind of uh, colors and very nice kind of uh, greens and so on and so forth so that will give us <coughs> all these very nice and very cool kind of uh, colors and very nice kind of combinations right so using the brush just trying to make sure that we have these greens in and again trying to also um, keep the um, green looking very fresh by using more of the sap green which is the natural kind of green and combining it with a little bit of yellows and dark blues that will give us all these very interesting and very vibrant kinds of greens that are very attractive to, to look at and also another reason why I use sap green is because sap green is pretty near to the brown and that makes the green look very organic so we have all these you know um, tallow greens and viridian greens which are which I find it to be too strong and too bright when we are using it to depict trees and leaves so um, I only use sap green as my only green and by combining it with colors like yellow cadmium yellow and burnt sienna which is light brown or or ultramarine which is dark blue that will give a very nice kind of a natural feel when we're depicting all these trees and leaves and plants and that is the reason why I use sap green because it is very close to the um, colors of the natural things that we see like trees and plants as compared to using all these very bright greens which are not appropriate when it comes to painting all these organic kind of uh, plants and trees and leaves right so um, right now just moving on towards the bottom part but before that just trying to touch up on all these different areas and different um, the, the, try, just trying to fill up all those places that we left white so the thing is um, when I actually paint trees I kind of like use the brush to paint the darker areas first and then combining it with greens and you know I'm dabbing in some of the yellows and reds and after that um, once everything is dry just using the light paint to kind of like fill up all those areas that were left white so this is the method to actually do you know all these very um, nicely arranged kind of trees and you can see on the other side I'm actually using all these reds and yellows and browns and that will give us some very very nice and very very cool kind of uh, techniques so using my brush just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of uh, greens and yellows and browns and so on and so forth and that will help us to really have all these colors and all these different kinds of greens coming together and that will really make sure that we have some very attractive kinds of colors and you know um, light tones and dark tones they make up this very interesting kind of forest scene all right so um if you're there in jewel you'll be able to feel the waterfall kind of like you know if you're nearby all these water droplets kind of like you know are able to cool 
you down and we have all these tourists with their luggages just sitting there and enjoying the very serene kind of atmosphere with the surrounding greenery and there's like you know a lot of shopping center uh, a lot of shops there and you can just do your shopping there we have a lot of restaurants and um, it's pretty nice place to kind of like hang out so using my brush just trying to make sure that we have all these yellows and reds and orange and so on and so forth so just trying to make sure that all these colors and all these um, areas are being you know covered and just trying to end um, by filling up all these different light uh, areas that were left white right so we have you know this entire plant area and um, just using all these different colors to, to depict the plants so when we're using the same kind of green you know when we look at the photo itself you can also see different shades of green and therefore it is very important for us to use all these changing colors and all these varying kind of um, green and bluish greens and brownish greens and light greens and dark greens and also browns to depict the branches and of course the tree trunks and everything like that so that will give us a very nice composition and a very nice you know mixture of colors that you know make up this entire scene and so when you're painting a forest when you're painting a um, jungle or mountains with a lot of trees this is one of the good methods to actually use to paint um, the trees that are growing out from all these you know different places and that is something that is you know it's very natural and it's very pleasing to look at when you know you're trying to depict natural surroundings and natural sceneries and natural kind of uh, scenes and so using some of those browns just trying to dab on top and that will give us some you know very um, some reds as well so again giving us some highlights and again you can try to improvise by trying to you know use the brush to depict different colors onto the trees and you can have some reds and some yellows and some orange some burnt sienna or the light browns so just kind of like dab on top of it and that will give it give it more vibrant kind of colors and you know um, all these lines and details and so on and so forth and so that will really help us to be able to depict a forest scene or a scene that is filled with all this greenery in a very very vibrant way so right now using those strokes to help us with the depicting of the tree trunks and just trying to uh, make sure that we have everything in place in this part of the tree uh, this part of the forest right so on both sides we can see that you know they make up the very you know um, densely kind of uh, planted kind of trees area whereas the middle part is the road where you know tourists and visitors can um, you know walk in and see the waterfall right so right here just trying to repeat the same process just trying to use the brush to very quickly use all those dabbing methods okay so the thing is we need to use all these dabbing kind of uh, methods in order to dab and to create all these different shapes some sharp shapes some um, circular shapes and some of this you know very nice kind of uh, dabbing kind of shapes in order to form all these different kinds of uh, tree leaves and colors and so on and so forth and by using that brush just trying to show you know all these reds and orange and different colors that will really give us some very nice visual effects so we have the use of this brush again trying to mimic what i did earlier so just dab and when you dab when you actually make sure that the movement of the brush is very natural and you know, like just like flick of the brush that will give some very nice natural kind of feel to the trees itself and so i wouldn't want to like draw in every single leaf that i see you know that would be too tedious um that would be kind of crazy you know trying to draw in 
every single leaf but we can use all these strokes and this method that I'm actually showing you right now to depict and to make sure that we have all these different kinds of uh, um, leaves and trees and branches and flowers and plants and so on and so forth and that will give us you know a pretty quick and a pretty decent kind of depiction of the um, trees and plants so making sure that we have all these different colors as you can see right there we have this darker green kind of zone and then just beside it we have this grayish green we have this bluish green we have some yellow greens we have some reddish greens and we have all these different kinds of um, greens and you know um that will give us all these amazingly um vibrant kind of colors and once everything is dry again using that color pencil to help me to draw in all the details so again for those areas that are they were um, painted on late earlier just using the green color pencil to add on to all those details right so making sure that we have you know all those um, lines to make up the lines for the leaves and making sure that we have those black lines again to form even more details so when you look at a, a group of trees we will see that there's a lot of branches and a lot of leaves that are hanging out and so the color pencil is helping to depict all these branches and leaves and trees and the, the minor details that we kind of like left out um, and it is not possible to use that watercolor brush and so using this color pencil that can really help us to depict all these finer details that add more interest into the painting as you're seeing right now so using that brush or uh, using that color pencil just trying to do that kind of effect using the flickering kind of effect for the color pencil and very quickly just trying to finish up this part where there's a lot of all these you know color pen pencil marks and at the bottom part area just trying to use the dark browns and um greens and so on and so forth and that will give us all these very amazing details that were painted on and that will really help us to have all these very very vibrant kind of uh, tones and colors and so on and so forth right so again trying to finish up this part um trying to repeat the same methods using my brush Okay, using all those strokes to depict those lines and leaves and trees and so on and so forth so the thing is when we are depicting plants and trees it is very important to be natural so don't have to be too rigid but let your brush become like a little bit more free so you can you can have all these strokes they will depict all these leaves that are hanging out and all these you know plants and all these nice um, branches and that will really give us some very very nice visual results as you're seeing right now so using my brush again adding in those red highlights and some yellow highlights and some browns and some yellows and so on and so forth so that will help us to have all these nice areas so just filling up those areas with some blacks and some dark colors and again um, we have this portion there where it is the boundary um, again it is those walls that separate the trees from the pavement and so just trying to use all those grays and browns to depict those areas so just very quickly trying to finish up this area using my brush and you can see right now the trees and the plants are actually coming out really well with this method that i'm just shown you you know using the gray, those grays again to paint the partition areas so using the color pencil doing some final touch up on the trees and the plants and everything else and again right here we are actually using the combination of color pencils and the brush to depict all these different details of the trees and the plants and the leaves Hey everyone, it's KY Tom here. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.